Hello and welcome to Quick Tips. In this video, we will see how to manage the status of orders in WooCommerce. So whenever you receive any order in WooCommerce website, you should go to the WordPress dashboard of the website and you should manage the status of the order so that the customer will also know that what is happening with their order. They will also get notification about the status of their order. Let's see, you have received an order on your website. You can go to the orders page, you can go to edit and from here you can select the status of the orders. So if you are processing, you can select processing. If it is on hold, you should select hold. If it is shipped, you can change the status to ship. If it is completed, you can simply select the status completed and after that click on update. So whenever the order is completed, the customer will also receive the email that the order has been completed. Whenever you ship the product, the customer will also receive the email, the product has been shipped. So this is how you should always use the WooCommerce order status. You will also know that what is the status of the current orders, whether it is finished, whether it is shipped and what needs to be done. And we will also install a pro plugin which will help you add more options to the WooCommerce status. So let's start with the video. So I'm logged into the WordPress dashboard of the WooCommerce website. Now we will see what is the process of managing status in WooCommerce. So we will first go through the default options that are in the WooCommerce plugin for the management of the status of the order. After that, we will install a pro plugin. What we will do, we will place an order on this dummy WooCommerce website from another account. And after that, we will go through all the status one by one. And we will see how the customer will be notified when the status has been changed. So let's start placing the order from the dummy account. So I'm going to add some products. So let's add to the cart. Okay, now let's go to cart. Proceed to checkout. Here I'm going to select cash on delivery. There are some other payment gateways. So I'm selecting cash on delivery and I'm going to place the order. Okay, so you can see that the order has been placed. Now let's see the my account orders. So this is the order that we have placed. Now go to the main account and let's refresh the order. So you can log into the dashboard, then go to WooCommerce. Under that you will see orders. Okay, so you can see that the order has been received and the status, the default status is processing. So let's check the orders details. Okay, so this is the order details. You will see the product that is ordered by the customer. Now here you will see different status for the order. So here you can see that pending payment when they pay online and sometimes it takes time to process the payment. So it will show pending payment. This is processing because we need to process the order. The order is for the cash on delivery. So we will receive the payment after the delivery of the product. Now this is the on hold, completed, canceled and refunded. And this is the failed. Okay, so these are the default status options in WooCommerce. Okay, once the order is completed, you can simply select completed and then update. Okay, now let's go back to the main customer's account and you will click on view order. Now here they will say currently in processing. Okay, so this is the status of that order for the customer. Now let's go to the email account of the customer so that we will see how the customer is receiving email about the order. So this is the account of the customer and you will see that this is how the customer will receive an email when they place the order. All right, now let's go to the client's account. Now let me mark this order as completed. So we have sent the product, the customer has received the product and the order has been completed. Okay, so now the next status will be completed because we have not canceled it. If you cancel it, you can mark it as canceled and then update. If it is refunded, you can mark it as refunded and then click on update. Okay, so the status will be updated and you will also know that what is the status of this particular order. So let's mark it as completed and let's update it. Okay, now let's see the list of orders. Now here you will see the status of this particular order. You have marked it as completed. So it shows that completed. Now let's go back to the customer's account and let's refresh it. The customer will also that the status of the 
order is completed now let's go back to the email account and this is how the customer will also receive the email we have finished processing order so this is this order is completed okay payment method and all the details are here okay now what we are going to do we are going to add a new plugin to the WooCommerce website the name of the plugin is WooCommerce order status manager and you will find this plugin on WooCommerce website I'll give you the link in the description box you can check the link in the description box the price of this plugin is $49 it has included one year extension updates one year support and 30 days money back guarantee you will now see a different features of this particular plugin create new order statuses and add icons or action buttons now display order status description on the view order page of the customer these are the features of this particular plugin so let's install this i already have downloaded this plugin on my computer so go to plugins then go to add new now click on upload plugin browse the plugin that i have downloaded already on the computer and click on install now so we are installing the pro plugin now click on activate plugin okay so the plugin has been activated now let's go to woocommerce and then go to settings now here you will see the option order statuses click on it okay so these are the order statuses you can see that there are many different order statuses now pending payment processing on hold completed cancelled refunded and failed you will see different icons here also now let's see if we can edit this one click on edit okay now this is the name of the status this is the slug description if you want and this is the color of the icon let's change it let's change it to simply light green and this is select icon so this is the list of the icons from where you can select different icons okay nav add icon color action icon next statuses so after that you can select the status the next status you can select from here bulk actions check this to add this order status to the order list table bulk action list okay now let's click on save order status and let's go back to the order statuses you will see that the color has been changed to light green now here you can change the icons of these statuses now click on let's try changing this one cancelled okay, now let's change the color to red and save the order status okay you will see that the color has been changed now if you want to add more status you can click on this add order status and let's name it as let's try to add product shift and slug will be shipped and this is the description okay now the color of the icon let's say yellow and icon if you have any icon downloaded you can select the file from computer let's see if we have other icons let's see this one let's use this one okay now save order status okay now let's go back to order statuses okay now we are going to move this icon somewhere else after on hold after processing let's move it up okay so we need to ship the product after that the order will be completed all right so these are the settings now let's go back to the customer account and let's try to order another product let's order this one add to cart let's go to cart proceed to checkout place the order all right so the order has been placed now let's go back to the main website and go to orders 
Now here you will see the new order has been placed. This is the status on hold, sorry, the processing. And this one is already completed. So you will see the check mark here. So using these icons, you will be able to check the status of all the orders. Uh, let's go to the order. Okay, so this is the current status and you will see the newly added status here, product ship. So let's select this one and click update. Okay, so the product status has been updated. Let's go to the customer's account, go to my account. So go to orders. So this is the customer's account and this is the recently placed order. You will see the status is product shipped. Click view. Okay, now you will see that is product ship. Now let's go back to the WooCommerce settings. We can also add the email option to order statuses. Let's go to order statuses. Now let's go to the newly created one. Or let's go to the emails here. Okay, now add order status email. Name is product shipped. It will go to the customer and this will be the subject or the description. Add condition. It will be from status processing to let's say from any to status product ship. Okay, so this will be the condition. So whenever the status is changed to product ship, it will send the email. So click save email. Now let's go back to the settings, the WooCommerce settings, go to order statuses. Now click on emails. And here it says order disabled. So click on it. Okay, now check this option. Enable this notification. And click save changes. Let's go back to the order statuses. And emails. It says enabled now. Now let's go back to the customer's account and go to our products. We are going to place a new order. Let's add this product. Go to cart and proceed to checkout. Place the order. All right, so the order has been placed. Now you can see that we have changed the order status to product ship and the customer has also received the email here your order is now product shipped order details are shown below all right so whenever you ship the product and whenever that status is changed to product ship customer will receive the email so they will also get notified that the product has been shipped okay so this is how you can manage the orders in woocommerce so whenever you receive any order, you should go to the dashboard of the WordPress website, then go to WooCommerce orders. So whatever you are doing with the order, whatever the status of the order, you should update the status of your order so that customer will also know what is happening with their order. They can also check it here. And if you enable the email notification, they will also receive the notification about the status of their order. So this is how you can manage the status of orders in WooCommerce. So that's it for now. See you in the next video. Do not forget to subscribe to my channel to get more quick tips about online softwares and tools. If you have any questions, please leave us message in comments section and press the like button if you like the video. Thanks for watching quick tips.